Maayong buntag kaninyong tanan. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Good day, my dear students. Welcome to our session for today. I am Mr. Stephen Alexius G. Baltazar, your facilitator of learning for the subject Business Enterprise Simulation. To start with, let us pray all together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Most Holy Triune God, we adore you and we honor you, Lord God. All blessing, glory, wisdom, and thanksgiving is yours. We ask pardon, O Lord, for our sins. We thank you for every good and perfect gift that comes from you. We ask the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to fall afresh upon us. May the unmerited favor and protection of our Lord be with us always. Amen. I will now check your attendance. Please log your name in our messenger group chat. Before we start with our class, let us have some house rules or class rules during our online class. Number one, as grown-ups, you should take responsibility for your behavior. You should self-monitor your behavior during our online classes. Number two, listen to the instruction first before doing your online task or activities. Number three, one mouth rule. If someone is talking, you should keep quiet and listen. Number four, respect each other's rights and opinions. Number five, be polite when you ask a question or give your answers through our online platforms. And number six, you can always consult me for questions and clarifications through our Google Classroom or through my contact number and email. Thank you. So, it's time to review and recap our lesson about business. What is the definition of business? Business is an organization or economic system where goods and services are exchanged for one another or for money. By the way, some of you might be confused whether business is an entity or an activity, so let me clarify this to you. Business can be defined as an entity or an organization. A business or an entity is an organization or any other entity engaged in commercial, professional, charitable, or industrial activities. It can be a for-profit entity or a not-for-profit entity and may or may not have a separate existence from the people or person controlling it. On the other hand, business can also be defined as an activity. A business as an activity is a commercial activity which involves providing goods or services with a primary motive of earning profits. I hope you are clarified with the difference of the definition of business as an entity and the definition of business as an activity. Let us continue our review. Business can be for-profit entities or they can be non-profit organizations that operate to fulfill a charitable mission or further a social cause or issue. Businesses range in scale from a sole proprietorship to a partnership and to an international corporation. Businesses can range from small operations operating in one industry to large operations operating in many industries all over the world. After reviewing about the concept of business, let us now take a look at this video clip. In December 2019, China notified the World Health Organization of several cases of human respiratory illness, a disease later named COVID-19. The virus causing this disease is known as Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. 
The disease spreads through small droplets that are expelled from the nose or mouth when a person with COVID-19 coughs or exhales. Therefore, standing close to someone who is infected can put you at risk. These droplets can land on your hand and be transmitted through something as simple as a handshake. If afterwards you touch your eyes, nose or mouth, the so-called T-zone. The virus is known to survive on different types of surfaces, so touching these contaminated surfaces and then touching your T-zone brings a high risk of infection. What we know so far. The coronavirus is spherical in shape and its genetic material is encapsulated by different types of proteins. Some of the key structural ones are spike S protein, the most prominent feature of coronaviruses from where they get their name, then M or membrane protein, and the so-called envelope protein. In December, So, my dear students, what did you see in the video? What was the video all about? By the way, before you answer the follow-up questions, I encourage you to speak out. And you can use your native mother tongue. You can speak in the vernacular. You can speak in English or Filipino, whichever is comfortable for you. So, can I have a thumbs up? Very good. So, let us proceed. So, my dear students, what did you see in the video? Unsa man ang inyong gibati pag human ug tanaw sa salida? Pwede bang ipaliwanag niyo kung ano ang nakita niyo sa video clip? What was the video all about? Did the virus create an epidemic? Or a pandemic? Andam ba ang mga tao sa pandemya or dili? Napiktuhan ba ang tanan? Napiktuhan ba ang kalibutan? Napiktuhan ba ang Pilipinas? Napiktuhan ba ang siyudad sa baybay? Sa so, ni ang atong pangutana. Importante ba nga andam ta sa mga pandemya? Tubag ba nga estudyante? Yes, dapat andam ta permanente. Can I have a thumbs up again? May mga problema ba at isyo bang naidulot ang COVID-19 pandemic? If there are problems indeed, are there solutions? If there are problems, are there opportunities? Can you scan and identify potential business opportunities during the pandemic? So, what do you think is our topic for today? Anyone who would like to guess our topic for today? Correct! 
Our topic for today is about identifying business opportunity. Our learning competency is to identify potential business opportunities to capitalize on based on the most essential learning competency codes. Specifically, we have three objectives. The first objective is to define business opportunity. Second is to identify potential business opportunities to capitalize on. And third, to appreciate the importance of business opportunities in real-life situations. And now is the time to have an activity. Before we proceed with our discussion, let us have an exciting activity. Are you ready? Are you excited? So, listen up for the instructions. Using the internet, I would like you to search a picture during the COVID-19 pandemic. So, an example of this picture will be the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So, here is the virus, picture of the virus. From that picture, kindly identify a problem and identify possible business opportunities that you can capitalize on. After that, you're going to present your output through a creative video presentation of your choice. By the way, I will give you a supplementary activity sheet and a video lesson which will be given to guide you on what to do. You can choose to do it individually or by group, especially if you reside in the same barangay or area. You can always help your classmate who needs help and assistance. You will be given the freedom to choose your creative presentation. You can sing, dance, rap, perform a jingle, draw or paint, have a monologue, or a mixture of creative activities that you are comfortable with. Or maybe, can you suggest to me a creative presentation of your own? As you craft your creative presentation, I encourage you to use the language and concept of your choice that fits to your linguistic, cultural, socioeconomic, or religious backgrounds. You can use the concept of your choice that will suit your respective cultural or indigenous backgrounds. So, kamo ang mopili sa tema sa inyong gusto nga inyong gamiton sa inyong creative presentation. You can use the vernacular language or use Filipino or English as your medium. Pwede mo magbinisaya, magtagalog, magwinaray, or mag-English. Pwede po taglish or mixed language ang gamiton ninyo. You are going to take a video about your creative presentation. You can use your cell phones, tablets, DSLR cameras, or laptops in recording your videos. If you do not have one, you can borrow from a friend or just be me so I can let you borrow my gadgets for recording your videos. You can submit this online through our Google Classroom or Messenger group chat. You can post this online through our Facebook groups or you can also send this to me via email at stephenbaltazarprospers at gmail.com. If you do not have internet connection, you may save this in a USB and submit this in your envelopes during the distribution and retrieval of modules. Please comply and submit on or before 12 noon on July 8, 2022. I will assess your creative presentation through a given rubrics. I will also give you an individual specific constructive feedback after you submit by sending you a message in our Google Classroom or through a private message in our Messenger group chat. The rubrics for assessment is presented below. So you have here the criteria, namely organization, accuracy of language, understanding of topic, accuracy of information, understanding of different culture, and of course, comprehension, and the corresponding points that you will get if you adhere to this criteria. So. Is the rubrics clear? I guess it's clear. Now, let me ask you, 
How did you find the activity? What is your idea about business? What is business for you? What is an opportunity? Combining the two words, what is a business opportunity? So based on your chosen picture during the COVID-19 pandemic, what is your identified problem? Based on your evaluation, were you able to think of possible solutions or possible business opportunities from your problem? And why do you say so? Kindly justify and defend your answer. What are the possible business opportunities that you listed down? Are there similarities? How about the differences? So how do we scan the market and identify possible business opportunities to capitalize on? Why do you say so? Who can synthesize how to identify potential business opportunities? So please send your answers through our Google Classroom. You can also email me at stephenbaltazarprospers at gmail.com. So is that clear, class? I guess so. Hello, everyone. Let's talk it out. To know more about business opportunity, let us now proceed to our online discussion. Are you ready? Are you excited? Do you want to learn more? Do you want to learn with me as your facilitator? So be ready and listen to our discussion. First, let us discover the origin of the word business and opportunity. The word business is taken from the Old English word busyness, which means a state of being busy. It is pronounced as business. Again, business. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines business as a commercial or mercantile activity engaged in as a means of livelihood. Business is an organization or economic system where goods and services are exchanged for one another or for money. Now, let's try to discover the origin of the word opportunity. The word opportunity is taken from the Latin word opportunos or opportunitas, which means fit, convenient, suitable, or favorable. It is pronounced as opportunity. Again, opportunity. What is an opportunity? An opportunity is an occasion or situation that makes it possible to do something that you want to do or have to do, or the possibility of doing something. It is an exploitable set of circumstances with a certain outcome requiring commitment of resources and involving exposure to risk. So combining the two words business and opportunity, let us now proceed to the definition of the word business opportunity. A business opportunity is an idea that has a commercial potential, something you can make money with develop a business around it, and create value with it. It is a consumer need or want that can potentially be met by a new business. Let us give an example of a business opportunity. For example, when there is a typhoon like Typhoon Yolanda, like Typhoon Odette, or Typhoon Agaton, what do you see? So you see flooding, stalled vehicles, diseases, fallen trees and power lines, destroyed houses, and death. 
during a typhoon, a disaster, of course. What are the effects of a disaster? In a disaster, you face the danger of death, physical injury. You may lose your home, possession, and community. Such stressors place you at risk for emotional and physical health problems. Since there are bad effects of a disaster in our lives, it is very important to be prepared always kasi ligtas ang may alam, lamang ang may alam. Thus, it is very important to recognize the importance of disaster readiness and risk reduction in our lives because it saves lives and properties. On the other side, when there is a typhoon, what don't you see? What are the opportunities that we can see? So, we have there a lot of business opportunities. We have a platform for selling umbrellas and raincoats, new flood control projects, sale of construction materials, of course, the funeraria parlor or the funeraria business will thrive, and you have the Andanyu boys or the Tulak Tirik boys. So, there are a lot of business opportunities that you can see. How about during the COVID-19 pandemic? What have you observed? Maybe you noticed that there are a lot of problems, there are a lot of changes, there are a lot of illnesses, death. Moreover, there are a lot of restrictions. You need to do social distancing. You cannot get out of the house. You need to wear face mask. You need to do social distancing use alcohols and sanitizers, and there were a lot of problems, issues, and concerns to deal with. How about the things that you have not observed? Yes, there were a lot of opportunities. There were a lot of business opportunities. So, nibalik ang mga home-based business, baking, cooking, and of course, the thriving online businesses, online selling, uh, TikTok-based, social media-based, in Facebook, in YouTube. There are a lot of selling activities. There are a lot of opportunities. New businesses like online delivery services, like online selling, live selling, and many others. Thus, we can seek business opportunity even from problematic situations like during the typhoon or during the pandemic. We must be optimistic and have a positive outlook in life amidst all the trials and challenges. So after achieving our first objective of defining what is business opportunity, let us now proceed on how to identify potential business opportunities to capitalize on. So here are the approaches to identifying business opportunity. First is to observe changes in the environment. Changes in the environment give rise to needs, wants, or problems of an individual and lead to business opportunities. Important Environmental forces to observe include economic and social forces, technological advances, and political and regulatory statutes. So, for example, in this table, you have here forces, changes in the environment, and new product or service opportunities. Let's say for the economic forces, factors affecting income and population, you have number of teenagers higher than the number of elderly and children. Of course, with the rise of the millennials, their products and services are also attuned with their needs and wants. So you have their new internet cafes, KTV bars, milk tea shops, coffee shops, gadget stores, accessory shop, parlor, beauty shop, resto bar, fast food, malls, and department stores. For example, in Bye Bye, we have a lot of milk tea shops like Uchado, we have Splendid, and a lot more. And of course, you have a lot of gadgets and accessory stores, malls and department stores like Prince, Metro, JNF, Pure Gold, and others. In the social forces, you have increased interest in fitness, especially during the pandemic. People were so aware and conscious about their health. 
So new sprouting product or service opportunities include having a dancing class, maybe do it online, having a fitness gym, Zumba fitness club, or a nutrition circle. Technological advances, development of the internet. So of course, as a new product or service opportunity, you have e-commerce. During the pandemic, boom na boom ang online selling, live selling, social media, and online platforms for businesses. So ang uba nag-TikTok, ang uba nag-YouTube, ang uba nag-Facebook. So there are a lot of platforms in order for them to sell and come up with new service opportunities. And of course, we have government policies and regulations. For example, increased driving standards. So ang mga new opportunities includes smoke emission testing center, driving school, helmet, seatbelt, vehicle insurance, and vehicle nameplate. And of course, during the pandemic, required mag-wear og face mask og face shield. So there were a lot of product opportunities for selling face mask and face shields. So my dear students, during the pandemic, what are the new business opportunities that emerged? Can you chat it in our chat box or in our Google Classroom? So of course, new business opportunities emerging were the online stores, the delivery services. For example, in Bye Bye, we had the Bicots, we have the Passfast, we have the Capute. Okay, so you also have a lot of uh, online stores and online selling activities that transpired. There were a lot of delivery services sprouting everywhere due to restrictions of going out. No? So how, how about other ideas? Can you mention some opportunities? Okay, please chat them in our uh, chat box. Another approach is to recognize a need that customers have that is not being satisfied. Opportunity occurs when there is a need and wants to fulfill. The term needs refer to basic needs that the consumer must have in order to live. While the term wants refer to the personal desire for something that is more than the basic need. Opportunity occurs whenever there is a need and wants to fulfill. Sa una sa baybay, walay mga mineral water refilling station. Wala po yung mga laundry shops. Pero, pag change na sa panahon, there is already a need to drink refined or mineral water. So, muna karon sa baybay, daghan na kaayo ang mga refilling station sa mineral water. Sa una na mga labandira, mag adto ato sa mga balay, sila mga laba, pero karon wala na kay na nauso tungod kay na na may need sa dali ug paspas nga paglaba sa mga sinina. Mauna nga naa na tay mga laundromat or mga laundry shops kini lupagani ang pagtimbang pero makuha nimo dayon. So see, there is an opportunity because of the need to drink safe drinking water, and to have a fast and effective or efficient laundry services mo nang abri ang mga laundry shop. So, moto siya ang sa opportunity of course when there is a need. Opportunity of course when there is a want. Before, ang nasa baybay, kanarag yung mga karinderya, simpleng nga mga kananan, but later on, nangabot na ang mga coffee shop. Nangabot na ang mga milk tea shop like Ochado, like Splendid, like Sibucha, and many others. Nana po yung mga lami nga restaurant like Sanjupsal because food is the basic need. But people wanted to have a comfortable ambience, a comfortable place to stay while they are drinking coffee, they are drinking milk tea, or they are dining the Korean accent like in the Samjupsal nga concept. So, muna siyang example po sa opportunity of course, whenever there is a wants to fulfill. So, nagets ba nato, my dear students? I hope you got it right. Third is to recognize a problem and find a solution. Problems can be recognized by observing the challenges that people encounter in their daily lives, 
solution to the problem represented a business opportunity. During the pandemic, people were required to stay at home. Dili ta pwede magawas-gawas. There were a lot of restrictions <clears throat> before ka mo gawas, kina na face mask, na face shield. So, kung di man kagawas, so, unsa man pagpalit sa mga basic commodities, pagkaon, grocery, uban pa nga mga needs. So, because of that problem, there was a solution. So, niabot si online selling, niabot si delivery services. For example, sa Baybay, we had the Baybay City Online Trading Services or Bicots. Naapod tay fast fast. And even from the national market nga delivery, naapod tay Food Panda, na naapod tay Kapiot, o ang Tok Tok. So, because of these delivery services, we were able to buy the food that we need, medicines, and we can order from them to buy our groceries. So, see, dako kayong tabang. There was a problem on how to buy food, access to medicines, and even to buy our groceries and other needs and wants. So, here comes the solution, the delivery services. There was a problem, and there was a solution, and came the business opportunity. Diba? Swak na swak. So, to summarize the opportunity identification process, first, you search for changes in the environment. Next, recognize the need, the want, and the solution. And eventually, this will lead you to discovery of a new business opportunity. Another approach to identifying business opportunity is the three S of opportunity spotting and assessment. The three S of opportunity spotting and assessment is the framework that most of the promising entrepreneurs use to finally come up with the ultimate product or service suited for a specific opportunity. Opportunity is an entrepreneur's business idea that can potentially become a commercial product or service in the future. The three S of opportunity spotting and assessment includes number one, seeking, number two, screening, and number three, seizing. So we have here the three S, opportunity seeking, opportunity screening, and opportunity seizing. We start with the first S, opportunity seeking. Opportunity seeking is the first step and is the most difficult process of all due to the number of options that the entrepreneur will have to choose from. Opportunity seeking involves the development of new ideas from various sources of business opportunities. What are the sources of business opportunities? So we have social media platforms and online websites, problems, changes, new discoveries, existing products and services, unique knowledge, talents, hobbies, interests, skills, and experiences, and of course, you have creative thinking. Our first source of business opportunity is social media platforms and online websites. Entrepreneurs can get ideas and spot business opportunities through social media or online websites. You can access online sites. You can tap social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and even YouTube. Okay, my dear students, can you please open your Google, YouTube, or Facebook accounts? And... Try to scroll if you can find new business opportunities presented there. If you can find one, kindly message in our chat box. Another source of business opportunity are problems. Many well-known companies were started because an entrepreneur wanted to solve a problem. In organization and management, what is a problem? A problem is a gap between the desired outcome and the current situation. So, ma managers must identify the problem to fill in the gap. Managers must first seek the problem in order to find a solution. Changes. 
are other sources of business opportunities. Our world is continually changing. Change often produces needs or wants that no one is currently meeting. Nothing is constant in this world except for change. Every now and then, there are new models of cell phones coming out in the market. Both the millennials and the centennials are hooked up with gadgets like cell phone. That is why there is a higher demand for innovation and change. New discoveries, existing products and services are another sources of business opportunities. The creation of totally new products and services can happen by accident. You can get ideas for opportunities from businesses that already exist by looking for ways on how to improve a product significantly. New discoveries and existing products and services are sources of opportunities. For example, the X-ray and penicillin were discovered by accident. Wilhelm Röntgen was working with a cathode ray tube when he accidentally discovered the use of the X-ray technology. Sir Alexander Fleming, a professor of bacteriology, noticed mold had started to grow on his petri dishes of Staphylococcus bacteria colonies. He discovered that bacteria was not growing around the mold. Penicillin notatum secreted a substance that inhibited bacterial growth. Hence, penicillin was discovered. The X-ray was discovered. Unique knowledge. Entrepreneurs sometimes turn one-of-a-kind experiences or uncommon knowledge into a product or service that benefit other people. You also have talents, hobbies, interests, skills, and experiences. Entrepreneurs come up with new products from activities that they love to do, they like to do, or something that they are passionate about. If you are interested in sports like bodybuilding, you can start up a gym. If you're a swimmer, you can have a swimming school. If you're a dance expert, you can set up a dance studio. If you love music, you can have a voice lesson tutorial center. So it's based on your interest, it's based on your passion, and then your opportunity comes in. After seeking, we proceed with opportunity screening. Opportunity screening is the process of cautiously selecting the best opportunity. The selection will depend on the entrepreneur's internal intent and the external intent which will address the compelling needs of the target market. It will also depend on the risk appetite which refers to the entrepreneur's tolerance of business risk. The crafting of a business plan starts only when entrepreneurs already said no to many opportunities and said yes to one forceful opportunity to which they devote their time and resources. The entrepreneur should say no to an opportunity if it does not contain any of these business opportunity elements. First, it has superior value to customers. Next, it solves a compelling problem, issue, a need, or a want. Is a potential cash cow or source of cash flow for the business. So when you say cash cow, it gives a significant amount of cash flow going towards the business. Then, it matches with the entrepreneur's skills, resources, and risk appetite. So in opportunity screening, you're going to do here the process of elimination. So for example, in opportunity seeking, you listed 10 ideas or 10 business ideas or business opportunities. You're going to eliminate them one by one and screen if each idea will qualify with this business opportunity elements until you will come up with the best opportunity which we are going to discuss with the next letter S. After seeking is screening and then opportunity seizing. Opportunity seizing is the last step in the opportunity spotting and assessment process. This refers to the pushing through with a chosen opportunity. You need to consider here the impact of innovation. 
What is innovation? Innovation is the process of positively improving an existing product or service. It is a key driver for economic growth. So, for my students, I often ask them this question. What is new with your product or service? What's new? What's unique? What important feature did you add on to the product or service to make it innovative? So again, what's new? What's unique? What's innovative? So those are a few questions that you need to consider the impact of innovation before you seize and decide and choose your final product or service. Okay, so let us have an example on how to innovate a product before we decide to seize the opportunity. How will you innovate pizza? Okay, students, kindly chat in our chat box or send through our Google Classroom. So for example, we innovate pizza by adding another element or feature to make the pizza new, unique, or innovative. So for example, maybe you can try the toppings. The pizza remains, and you're going to add the toppings like spaghetti. Spaghetti plus pizza will give you spaghetti. Isn't it new, unique, and innovative? Or you can try new flavors like Pinoy flavors. For example, the toppings for the pizza will be humba. So you will now come up with humbiza. Or home pizza. Humba ang imong topping sa pizza. Or maybe you can have seafood. Purely shrimp pizza. Shrimp pizza. The toppings is all shrimp. Or sea pizza. Seafood toppings for your pizza. So those are suggestions on how you will innovate pizza. Okay. How about shopau? How will you innovate shopau? Maybe you will combine shopau and pizza. You will have shopauza. So shopau and then the uh, the fillings in the shopau will be the toppings of a pizza. So you have there shopauza. Or maybe you can try shopau and then the fillings will be a fruit salad. Oh, so that's a unique innovative feeling for the shopau. And of course, before, the feeling for the shopau is oftentimes pork, bola bola, or chicken. And now they are trying now the fish. So you have the tuna. Tuna shopau or fish shopau. So that's for the uh, fish lovers. Or maybe you can have the purely vegan shopau for vegetarian. So these are way suggestions on how you will innovate your shopau and eventually you seize the opportunity of deciding to choose that as your final product or service. Once the three S of opportunity spotting and assessment have been diligently done, the entrepreneur should now be ready to prepare a comprehensive business plan that covers marketing, operations, and financial plans. So that will be another topic, my dear students, after the three S of opportunity spotting and assessment. So after learning about business opportunity seeking, screening, and seizing, we're going to relate these opportunities to our real-life situations. Ma-relate banning business opportunities to real-life situations? Of course. So let us try to answer these few questions. Are these business opportunities important in real life situations? Importante ba ning mga opportunities sa negosyo sa atong tinuod nga kinabuhi? I agree, they are very important. Do these business opportunities impact our lives? Why or why not? Number 3. How important is our lesson today for your future plans in life? Why do you say so? So, of course, there are three exit points in the senior high school. You can choose the first E, which is enrollment to the university. You can choose the other E, which is employment to work. And maybe the another E will be the entrepreneurship. So, of course, if you have a good business idea, a business opportunity, 
that you can choose, that you can see, screen, and eventually seize and come up with a business plan and implement the business, then it will open doors for your future as an entrepreneur, a successful entrepreneur. Maybe you will be the first Shopauza entrepreneur or the Spagitsa entrepreneur. So that is why I can say that it's important that our lesson for today is highly significant for your future plans in life and applicable in our real life situations. So students, if you have suggestions, comments, and opinions about these questions, please chat in our chat box and in our messenger. Okay? Thank you. Okay, it's time for another activity. We will have a business simulation activity. So, are you ready? Listen up for the instructions. We're going to apply what we have learned today through a business simulation activity. So, instructions. Look for a business opportunity, a business idea that you can find in Bye Bye. You are given the chance to start up a business from that source of business opportunity or idea. You have the preference to choose the type of business and the form of business organization. You have the freedom to choose the amount of startup capital that you can afford to start up your business. And you're going to answer these questions. So first, what business opportunity did you find out after scanning the market or scanning through your community? Next, what type of business will you start up out of that business opportunity? Why will you choose that business? What form of business organization will you choose? How much startup capital can you afford to start operating the business? You can submit your output online through our Google Classroom or Messenger group chat. You can post this online through our Facebook groups. You can also send this to me via email at stephenbaltazarprospers at gmail.com. Is that clear, my dear students? If you do not have internet connection, you may write it in any sheet of paper and submit this in your envelopes during the distribution and retrieval of modules. One, two, three. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap our topic for today and see what we have learned about business opportunities present in our community. I have here five questions for you to answer. Question number one, what is business? Next, what is an opportunity? To be followed by, what is a business opportunity? Question number four, how can you identify possible business opportunities to capitalize on? What method will you use? Justify your answer. Question number five, synthesize our topic for today. You can submit your output online through our Google Classroom or Messenger group chat. You can post this through our Facebook groups or email me at my email ad. Let's check it out. If you learned something today, please answer the quiz that I have prepared for you. So, we're going to use an online quiz platform, quizzes.com or quizzes. So, visit quizzes.com, join the quiz, and Students should open the joinmyquiz.com. Enter this code 021087. The title of the quiz that I prepared for you is Business Opportunity Seeking. 
Number six, answer the five open-ended questions about business opportunity seeking. The deadline for the quiz is on July 8, on or before 11.45 p.m. Did you get it, my dear students? So here is it. This is the uh, quizzes.com. So the title is Business Opportunity Seeking. So kindly explore our online quiz and try to learn so that we will be updated with the uh, uh, trends in ICT, trends with technology, okay? So remember that please be honest as you do the online quiz. Always remember that honesty is and will always be the best policy. I know you also love to learn more. That is why I am giving you an assignment, a homework to do. So, are you ready? Are you excited? I guess you are. So, you have an assignment and please listen to the instructions. Identify 10 possible business opportunities that you can start in Bye Bye City later. Classify the sources of these business opportunities. Evaluate whether this opportunity is feasible for implementation or not. Justify why you say so. You can submit your assignment online through our Google Classroom or Messenger group chat. You can post this online through our Facebook groups or send via email at stephenbaltazarprospers at gmail.com. If you do not have internet connection, you may write it in any sheet of paper and submit this in your envelopes during the distribution and retrieval of modules on July 8, 2022. Is that clear, my dear students? So, always remember... That whatever business opportunity we seek, screen, or seize, we should always be honest, responsible, and accountable. Honesty will always be the best policy. Be honest even if others are not, cannot, or will not. Once again, this is Teacher Steve. Mr. Stephen Alexius G. Baltazar, your facilitator of learning for the subject Business Enterprise Simulation, saying that life is wonderful, life is beautiful, life is handsome, and so am I. Thank you and may the good Lord bless you always. Have a great day ahead.